In this lesson, you will learn how you can use quick filters in ALM Octane. Many users were using ALM QC and displaying only the defects by their IDs, uh, which were interesting for them uh, in order to get the latest update. So let's take a look how QC was used. So let's log in. And now let's navigate to the defect module. We are in the defect module. And basically what user did were they just entered here ID on the header, clicked again and said, I would like to see the defects which are mattering only to me. Just like that, they have quick access to the filters and they were really seeing the value they have set it here. And this was possible. Now, how can they exactly do the same thing in the LM Octane? So let's see it in the LM Octane. First of all, what they need to understand is LM Octane provides different views on the defect module. So find the correct view for you. Yeah? So there is a grid view and a slim grid view, which is similar to the QC view. So let's see here. I can see I have the grid view and the slim grid view is even more uh, slim. So this is something you have to organize first. And after organize this, you can also move around the different columns. If you don't want to have a column, just remove it like this. Or if you want to add a column, just add it from the top. The column you need, it will be added in the beginning and now you can move it to the right place. You have the phases assigned here. So this is the way it should uh, work. Yeah? So basically, this is the first thing you need to set as a QC user. Now let's take a look on the IDs. Yeah? So if I would like to um, work with IDs, I can filter here by ID and enter. Let's say I enter this. Yeah? And now in order to really replicate what we were doing here just by clicking here and entering the IDs uh, and displaying additional defect. Same approach you can take in Octane. Just click on the ID filter itself, do a comma and say the new ID, comma, new ID and so on. So it will just display you exactly what you were using. And then you were also used to save this filter somewhere yeah, for your general purposes. So you can say add to favorites and you have here a filter for your private uh, filter. So you said defect uh, view, defect, let's say working set. And whenever you came back or the filter is cleared, you had just applied it from uh, private default working set and changed the filter accordingly to update the options. Same you can do in ALM Octane. Go to Octane, save the filter as defect working set. So I have already created a filter, but you can create, let's say this is defect working set. And this is just a private filter. So you don't want to share it with anyone. Save it. And now it's set in order it gets deleted or you are in a completely different uh, view. Let's say here group by releases and so on. Then you can go here, say defect working set. Your filter will be applied and you can add then additional defects to the working set. And this is the way you can use the same approach you were taking in ALMQC now with ALM Octane.